In this video, I want to demonstrate how quick and easy it can be to set up a, a virtual machine in VMware ESXi5. So here you see we're connected via the vSphere console, and uh, one of the first things we want to do is take a look at our data stores. Um, one, we got to find some space to install a virtual machine, and two, we got to find a, a data store with an ISO on it. So you see this data store here. We, we access it just by right-clicking on it and browsing has a, a folder named ISO and we can upload and we can download from this data store and that's how you would get your ISO images onto the data store. Next we see our virtual machines tab and it shows existing virtual machines as well as allows us to power them on and off and access other settings. Now under our configuration tab and the networking settings um, we have to pay attention here because sometimes the management network is set off to its own network and uh, you need to know this whenever you're setting up your own virtual machine. So now let's go back to virtual machines and then we just right click in the pane and uh, click new virtual machine. We're going to go with the custom settings here just to delve into it a little bit deeper. We're going to hit next and uh, for a name we're actually just going to go with uh, esxi dash uh, sent os because we're going to try sent os on this one and then hit next and uh, we got to pick our data store that we're going to store the virtual machine on now what you want to try not to store too many virtual machines on one disk because you'll start battling for IO uh, and then ask us about our version level this is a new one so we're going to go with uh, version 8 and uh, here it asks us about our operating system that we're going to run and uh, what version you're going to run in this case we're going to use Linux and uh, it's going to be CentOS so we're actually going to go with um, other 2.6x kernel and 64-bit uh, okay and then we're going to go ahead and hit next and uh, here it shows us how many virtual sockets and how many cores per socket we have uh, we're just going to go with the default settings here and hit next um, and then it asks for how much memory or RAM we want to allocate to the virtual machine, the default setting being 1. We're going to go with 2 and uh, then hit next. And here for the network, we're going to go with the default of the E1000, but you see there's options for the VMX Net 2 and 3. Um, you do have to install VMware tools inside the guest um, operating system for those to work. And uh, for the SCSI controller, we're just going to go with the defaults. And next it asks us to uh, create the virtual disk and uh, we're just going to create a new one and hit next and uh, for the size we're going to go with 40 gigabytes and uh, for the disk provisioning we're just going to stick with the default and the location we're going to store it with the virtual machine and hit next and now uh, we're just going to go with the default settings here and then it shows us our summary of the virtual machine settings and we hit finish so now you see at the bottom there that it's creating our virtual machine and that it's completed. Now if we right click on the virtual machine and we edit the settings, and you see it shows all the settings that we picked during the uh, the build there and our network device. Now see sometimes there you can see different networks if they're on, if the server is set up that way. And uh, for the CD drive, we're going to go and pick an ISO image from one of our data stores. And we're going to mount that sent OS image there. And we're going to make sure that it connects on power on. And we see there's other options there. And resources available. We can set priorities and reservations and stuff. And uh, that's pretty much it. We hit OK. So now if we right click on the virtual machine we just made. And we open the console. This is what you would see is if you were uh, installing this on a physical machine, this is what you would see on the monitor. And uh, let's go ahead and just power that on. Okay, and we see it booting now, and it's booting off of the, the CD-ROM image just like it would if it was a physical machine. And it has a BIOS and everything. Alright, so that's it. So you now officially have a uh, sent OS uh, build booted up on a virtual machine. And uh, this is just a live DVD, but uh, you could then go ahead and install it and everything. But um, the virtual machine itself is all set up and ready to go. So now you would just handle it as if it was um, a physical machine. You could go and install and reinstall or, or do whatever you want. And, uh, and that's pretty much it.